Hello, it's Jenny from Ginger Ninja Crafts. How are you? I hope you're doing well. I've not been here for a few days. Um, been busy helping my husband celebrate his big birthday, the big 5-0. Um, and then I've had a bit of a cold as well. So yesterday I was just kind of taking it easy and I do feel a bit better today. So um, I've got I've been up and posted out all my orders this morning. <coughs> Excuse me, um, but I've got some happy mail. So I have got this beautiful envelope. I'll just show you the back because you want to see the addresses, which I think is my ATC swap. Um, and also I have got this fabulous package, which I must admit I had a little sneak peek and it is my prize from lovely Andrea. So I'll show you is in this envelope first I haven't looked I've just uh, just cut the top so ooh, ooh. look at this happy haunting it's like a little napkin oh that's beautiful <gasps> wicked witch Bubbling brew, another little napkin, and it's like a four every. I love these. You could use them four times. The same with this one. I think it's on all. The same thing repeated. Yes. I've not done any napkiny things for a while, and I. I got some fabulous napkins from the Crafty Seas as well for Halloween. You can hear some banging. It's two cats that are, I don't know, chasing each other, breaking the house. Eh, something like that. Oh, the jack-o'-lantern last night. Look at this. I love it. I should see who this is from. This is from the lovely Sherry Secrees. And Sherry is on... <clears throat> excuse me, is on Instagram as I craft for your protection, which I think is the best Instagram name I have ever come across. Hi Jenny, thank you. I hope you enjoy the ATC. I had fun. Take care, Sherry. I love that. And then, oh, look at this. Oh, it's a sticker. It says on the back, sticker. Thank you. I need things spelled out. I do love an owl. And that'd be look beautiful on a notebook or a journal or something. Oh, it's so beautiful. Thank you so much. And then this gorgeous little envelope. Now let me just check. I'm not gonna flash addresses or anything. Oh no. look at this, it's cross stitch. Sherry is a fellow cross stitcher. Oh, I love it. And there's a little ginger cat. Thank you so much, Sherry. That is stunning. Can you see on this little spider, there's paper being stitched into it or stuck on and stitched over that says 31. With the owl, the bats and the moon. And it's called Spooktember for Jenny. I absolutely love it. What a fabulous idea to do a little stitchy ATC size stitch. That is fabulous. And the the um the fabric I think is a kinda different colours dyed onto it. It's kinda hard to see in this light. But I think there's sort of pinkies and yellows. Thank you so much. I love it. Do you know I love all my ATCs but I recently was it just last month I got like a fabric one and then a cross stitch one? It's fabulous. Thank you so much. And the envelope is just beautiful too. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm going to pop these over here and keep them safe. And then check I'm not flashing anything here. So I'll take out the top bit. So, as I say, I did slightly cheat because I was a wee bit confused. Look at this. 
absolutely adorable bee sticker. So I'm keeping that safe. And this gorgeous card. And I think this is an, a stencil that's been inked through. And then this fabulous sort of iridescent flower at the bottom. And congratulations. And Andrea's gorgeous stamp. I feel a bit bad because I won a giveaway from Andrea. I feel like it was earlier this year. So next time she has a giveaway, I will enter to offer support, but I don't want, <laughs> I shouldn't win again. Um, it's gorgeous. So dear Jenny, congratulations on winning my 400 subscriber giveaway. Hope you enjoy the goodies. Thanks for your support on my channel. Crafty Hugs, Andrea. If you don't know Andrea, I will link her channel below. I'm sure you do. Um, she is um, Andrea the Cumbrian Crafter and she makes beautiful things. Um, I can't believe she's only got 400. Well, she's got more than that. 400 and something because she deserves thousands really. She's fabulous. Um, really, really fabulous crafter. So, I have a box of goodies. So at the top here, I've got these some more beautiful napkins. Be happy. How lovely is that? I think that the universe is telling me I need to do something with napkins. Don't you? <laughs> I keep getting them. They're lovely. And again, it's got it. So I've got a couple of them. And I've got four bees on each. So I can, I can do something fabulous with those. And then... Opal polish. Polished opal sheen and add shimmering highlights to all your crafting projects. And look at that colour. Can you see? It's like... It's like sort of peachy opal. Yeah. Beautiful. I don't think I've had one of these before. This feels like a wee... Oh yeah, a little spongy dabber thing it's gonna be fun do a stencil or something that would be beautiful i'm imagining and then i'm just just picking things out at random here that's gonna match in beautifully look at this beautiful trim i am a bit addicted to trim because i do love my cross stitch and then i buy all these bits to finish things off and i very rarely do however i did treat myself i have an ancient sewing machine and I did treat myself to a, a little one. Like this, which I've not had out the box yet. My idea was I could keep it out because my other one's too big and it's too complicated. I can't figure it out. That maybe I could use this on paper projects, but also use it on some finishing for cross stitch and... I love it when people have fancy trims and things. So this is so pretty. It feels lovely. It's kind of satiny. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So there's that. And then on the same sort of colour theme. Look at these beautiful flowers. And they are chunky. Acrylic daisy stickers. Beautiful. I don't think you really can appreciate how like substantial they are and they are shimmery they've got like like fine sparkle in them they're beautiful oh, wonder what i'll use those for i mean obviously i think if you've ever watched my video before you'll be aware that what i'll do is i'll hoard them for a really long time before i decide what to do with them this beautiful mandela mandala Mandala, Mandela is the man. Mandala, I think. Uh, woodwear stamp. How beautiful is that? And a nice um, sort of doodly line thing. Mandala. Mandala. It says on the back. Mandala one. That is gorgeous. I don't think I've got anything like that before. How beautiful would that look? Um, 
heat embossed and then painted in with like shimmery um shimmery paints or pixie powders or something what about that are nice oh some christmasy stamps lovely these are very cute and you could build them up couldn't you i like a wee stamp they are very sweet again they would be cute heat embossed i think oh 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 this is from oh one of Andrea's makes. This is a little tag book. Oh wow. Look how gorgeous that is. Andrea's just she's got such good taste with things. She makes things so beautiful. This love on the layers, the little frame, the pretty flower. And then inside. Oh look, life is better with friends. Isn't that the truth? And then there's some some stickers, some wee sort of vintage florally stickers. That's cute. There's another one in there. Oh, that's very pretty. How beautiful. I'm going to try and put things away as I open so I don't make too much of a mess. Carrying all my love to you. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Another little pretty one. Oh, a little thistle. That's nice. I do love a thistle. And a very pretty flower there. How gorgeous is that? And then you need lace to tie it up. Oh, another make. A little keyring jigsaw piece. So this is like chipboard and it's got the most beautiful sort of inky stamp background and then a little chipboard dandelion on it. Nature. That is lovely. Oh, thank you. And then another Christmassy one. Oh, some more bobbles. This is like a to bunting with Christmas decorations. That would look lovely a lot a corner of a card or something, wouldn't it? Um or it's you could pop that on an ETC very nicely. I saw Andrea making these making this for I think it was for Martha's um make art with Martha the cat challenge and I love it it's a Lavinia um, cat oh I love a big fluffy cat how cute is that and there's like little touches of sparkle on the ferns and on the pumpkins I don't know if my oh I think you get a little little touch how gorgeous by the light of the moon something wicked this way comes <gasps> then, oh wow trinket pins from Tim Holt's ideology what a treat how gorgeous and they've all got different wee numbers on them find something special to do with those oh this is nice uh, this is an easy mount stamp tall pine Christmas tree. That's the the effect. How gorgeous would that be for some maybe taller Christmas cards? You could make some beautiful scenery with those. That is lovely. Oh, a nice embossing folder. Look at this Christmas lights. Oh, I love that. I love that. And it's got little snowflakes on it. I've got a big one from Creative Expressions. It's just like a sort of snow. F it's not really snowflakes. It's like snow falling. And they are so. They're such nice quality. Gorgeous. A pile is 
going to fall over, I think. Oh, look. Santoro girl, and it is like a big tulip. I think there's a mushroom in there. Yeah, there is. Can you believe it? Something from Andrea's got a mushroom. Andrea loves mushrooms or toadstools. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look at those. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that big flower. That's nice. And then these kind of red, the rubbery stamps. That will be fun to play with. Oh, look at this, creative papers. Oh, wow. Oh, and it's like more subtle on the back or you get the real foiling there. Beautiful. Those are gorgeous. It's funny, I was looking at um, I'm getting a new phone because the battery lasts about 20 minutes before it needs recharged. <coughs> and my contract is long, long, long finished. So new phone is arriving today. And I was looking for a case because I am clumsy. And I've, I was looking on eBay and there was some pretty sort of marbly kind of effect ones. Maybe this is a sign that's what I should, what I should go for. Beautiful. Thank you so much. And some more papers 13 arts sunrise i've never seen this brand before i don't think oh look at that oh. nice nice these are beautiful sort of shabby chic kind of i'm not if i should know what to call things beautiful a little bit grungy maybe isn't that beautiful absolutely beautiful there's florals wood some stripes oh some little bits you could do some fussy cutting how beautiful 13 arts sunrise thank you wow oh another stamp set uh, from Sheena Douglas, a poppy. That is beautiful. My mother's rather partial to a poppy. She has got some beautiful ones that come back every year in her garden. They're really big, sort of more orange than red, and they are beautiful. And I could. How beautiful! And it comes with a little remember. Oh, look at these Crayola pastel super tips. <clears throat> Do you know I've not had anything Crayola? Oh, I'm not going to say how long. A long time. These look beautiful though. And they're washable, which is good. I'm coming to I'm coming back to that stage of my life where I'm messy. And then oh a die set. Oh, this is pretty. I should show you and not just little birdie and some blossom. Oh how pretty are those? I've reached that stage in my life. I've never had anything against birds, but I never took much of an interest. And now that I've got a garden and we've got a bird feeder, I've become a little bit obsessed. My husband's always just like, oh yes, I have. Like he loves to feed the birds as well. But when I'm saying, I don't know what that is. I don't think that's a blue tit. I think that's a cold tit. He'll be like, all right, uh huh. Good, excellent. <laughs> Humours me. Thank you so much. Cottage garden. Beautiful. Another gorgeous floral stamp set. Some sunflowers 
and a little bumblebee. That is beautiful. Love it. Wishing you happy birthday. Oh, I love sunflowers so much. I didn't even grow any this year. Next year. Next year for sure. One year, one of the first years we were in the house, we had them and the builders put, I think it's like a six foot fence. It's taller than me, the fence. And the sunflowers were like a good, um, I don't know, foot higher. They were absolutely massive. Um, now some washi tape. Oh. It's like penguins and polar bears and gingerbread man and Santa and reindeer. How cute is that? I do love a bit of washi tape. And I had hoarded so much of it that it had gone that kind of sticky way and I couldn't really use it. So I'm trying to, you know, use it, put it on envelopes, put it in my planner when I'm, I'm using it and things and just enjoy it because doesn't last forever and this stunning um lilac embossing powder look at that color that is me in a pot oh it's beautiful i've got a gold one no a silver and coppery sort of color from paper mania and they're brilliant so i've never had like a a color a matte kind of color no gift tag set oh wow oh i've never seen this before it's like little pockets with the gift tag inside so there's this one that are thank you and happy birthday and then this one is like a sort of typewriter kind of and it even comes with the little strings they're very cute I'm trying to be a bit more eco with my wrapping paper, so just using brown paper. Um, so a wee snazzy gift tag is nice on that. They're lovely. I like these craft sensations. I've had a few, a few things from them from the, the range, and then I have reached the bottom of the box. Can you believe it? Look at this fabulous flowers. They're like roses and gemstones. Beautiful. The roses are really like 3D. Oh, they're going to be fun to decorate things with. And then another embossing folder. And this one is like a lace border. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? I wonder if that's kind of ATC size. Ha ha. Yeah, that's the wood. That's the wood. absolutely beautiful thank you so so much andrea i am i'm embarrassed to be on sharing another fabulous package that i've been sent um i'm not usually one who wins things but this year i've been i've been very lucky i should buy a wee lottery ticket maybe and um, you never know <laughs> So thank you so much for watching. I hope I haven't bored you too much. I always like seeing um, people opening up a haul or a prize or something. It's lovely to see. Um, and yeah, so thank you, Andrea. Wishing you many, many more successes in your channel. You totally deserve it. Um, and thank you so much to Sherry. I absolutely love my little Halloween cross stitch etc that is just gorgeous the wee ginger cat i'm not sure if i mentioned this is through the woolly steph etc swap so you'll see that hashtag and you can um click on that hashtag and see all the people sharing their etcs that they've received and sent um and i will link woolly steph's channel below um because she has been keeping this swap going for i don't know how long must be years by now it must be at least a couple of years i think um and it's great it's just once a month she pulls names and we swap and you can um 
I've swapped with people all over the world and it's just always been really lovely and it's not too much because you just have to send a wee note um, and an ATC and it's um, yeah it's just a lovely little bit of happiness through the post so thank you so much for watching I am away to have a lemon sip I think <laughs> and I'll be back very soon with some craftiness I'm sure take care everybody bye now